Howdy y'all and welcome to a new episode of Is It That Bad? And today, as you can see, uh, I have gone country. Uh, I'm not on the couch, I'm on the prairie. And on this new Is It That Bad? We're going to talk about a fairly new album that came out uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, our friend Chili from Like Listen Erase uh, said that we should talk about this album. So we're going to talk about Post Malone, as you can see here in the picture, and his new album, F1 Trillion, which is his first country album. So, uh, so yeah, this is the album that we're covering. And I'm joined by, I have Rock of All Ages, I have Nick Sino, and JC Rock and Metal Review. So uh, how are you today, partners? Doing good. <laughs> Doing mighty fine. Doing My, yeah. <laughs> yes, mighty fine. So yeah so uh this is a new album and this is uh this is going to be the first time i'm going to talk about a country music album so and first time post malone on this channel so uh yeah you know the the <laughs> the rounds the first round will give our first impressions of when we listen to this then the second round we're going to talk about the maybe three tracks that we thought maybe would be the weakest in this record and then the third and final round, we're going to give you, uh, you know, our final thoughts and a thumbs up, thumbs sideways or thumbs down. So, uh, yeah, let's start. Uh, let's start JC, Nick, uh, Rock of All Ages, and then me. So, uh, JC, your your initial thoughts, I reckon, listening to this record. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I listened to it uh, this week and... Uh... I noticed there's two versions. Like, like there's I listen to the short version because one's Me like too. an hour, one's like an hour and a half. So I I, I picked the shorter version. Uh, it's a, a country album, so that's pretty obvious. I kind of get the impression that it's similar to like what uh, Carlos Santana did with his like Supernatural, where he like has like a bunch of guests like on every song. I think he was maybe going for that and then doing like a country album with a bunch of you know famous country singers. To, to join him. So I uh I guess my first I'm not a big fan of country. Like I I've listened to it like a little, but um it's not really one of those genres I listen to. Um but I noticed it was heavily produced and there was like a lot of uh auto-tune. That that's kind of what I got from it. And uh that's all I'll say for now. Then we'll when we go to the next round I'll talk more about the song. Okay, what what about you, Nick? Yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not super familiar with like Post Malone's music in general. I know like some of his one off hits here and there. I think uh, you know, Congratulations, I think is the song I, I know best from him, which is a really good song. I think he's a really talented artist because he's he's crossed over into so many genres. He's done rock, he's done hip hop, and now he's doing country. And I think it's kind of uh, it's kind of funny. Like, there seems like a lot of rock artists or hip hop artists are going into country. I know you guys re re reviewed that Falling in Reverse uh, album, and that's uh, that's gone a little bit country as well. So I think it's uh, I think it's all the rage right now for for artists who aren't typically country to go into this kind of thing. And I'm I'm not a, I, I'm I'm more of a fan of I guess older traditional country, whether it be Johnny Cash or Patsy Cline or or that kind of thing, George Jones and the, you know, those old school country artists. I'm not as much into the the new country sound. Um, but the thing about it is, though, even if if I'm not super into it, these songs are really, really catchy there. There's so many earworms in here on this album. So I, there was a lot of a lot of stuff that you could sing along to. I think that, that that was really good about this record. And I saw a performance of uh, a Post Malone on YouTube the other day before listening to the record of him doing some of these songs live. Uh, and he had a really great band with him. And I think there's some really great players on this album where they all sound like you, you got to be tasteful with country, whether it be new country, or old country, you really got to know how to play that style of music. Uh, and I think that, uh, I think that Post Malone really like adapts well to the the country sound. I think there may be some, you know, too many, too many guest spots, but overall I think he does, he does pretty well with country. Nice. Uh, what about you, Rock of All Ages? So I'll start with a bit of an introduction. Um, I told Hector and Nick before we started recording that I met Post Malone at a meet and greet last year. He's the nicest guy. I do like a bunch of his hits, and I also like the songs he did with Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, before I listened to this album, 
all I knew about it was Post Malone goes country. And on paper, there was a lot like working in his favor. He's from Texas. Is a lot of songs about heartbreak and drinking, which is conservatively 99% of all country songs ever. And back in 2021, he did a cover of Only Want to Be With You by Hootie and the Blowfish, which is not a country song, strictly speaking, but it's country adjacent. Uh, plus, Beyonce put out a country album this year to critical acclaim. So if she can do it, so can Post Malone. Um, I looked at the track list for F1 Trillion and the writing and the production credits, and I thought, oh, he's going all in on this. Like, so many people, not just country stars, but, like, producers who've been working in Nashville for years, everyone is involved in this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with Nick. I'm not clear on why this got an episode, because this was just a normal country album. There was one song I didn't like out of the... <laughs> so the standard... Tracklist had 18 songs, and the extended edition made it 27. Out of all those 27, there was only one song I didn't like, but we'll we'll get to it. Nice. So uh, for me, uh, uh, I'm I'm not a country music fan. I'm from Puerto Rico, so I, I don't know. Country music is not big here. Uh, I didn't grow up listening to country, uh, so. Uh, <laughs> like it's new to me like I've heard so, like I remember my stepfather was huge uh, he liked uh, what's the name of uh, Garth Brooks he used to like Garth Brooks mm. uh, so, No Fences and, is an amazing album I, I just it was never my cup of tea uh, so I went to this like with uh, fresh ears uh, because uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm you know I'm, I never listened to that much country music but again I gotta say on first listen I was actually enjoying myself <laughs> I was actually thinking you know there's some uh it's like there's some great uh written songs here and I think Post Malone like you said I do think he's talented and uh I've seen him playing uh there's a video of him playing Nirvana songs I think when on the lockdown and I'm get I'm telling you he did a better job singing Nirvana than Wes Canling from Puddle of Mud. That's so, a very low bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I know it's a low, but no, he did good. Like he did, like he. Oh yeah, he, I'm sure he did. He did good. Like I, I could actually like uh, I'll, like I'll post a question at the end. Like like maybe the next album will be a grunge record. Who knows? That would be sick. That would be sick. I, 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 it would be interesting. So uh, I started. Uh, I I had I didn't go into this thinking. Will I hate this? I went into this thinking like let's. You know, it's something uh, different. Uh, uh, so I, I did think it's too long at 57 yeah. minutes. And some of these songs, uh, they're, I wouldn't say bad some songs, but I would say that like maybe in the country sense, they're kind of like maybe generic or like like <laughs> like if you hear a lot of country songs, they talk about the same thing. Uh, there, uh, But yeah, there's a few tracks that are uh, that I'm going to mention, uh, but actually I was actually surprised that I'm like, oh my God, am I turning country now? I think I, was, I sent a message to Nick, like I'm actually not, yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Uh, so yeah, my first <laughs> the impression- The just appears on your head. <laughs> yes. Like, Whoa, where'd it come from? This is, this is actually where my girlfriend. Where did it come from? Hat. Where did it go? My girlfriend gave me this hat. He's first. Ah, nice. <laughs> but I, I got to feel, I feel like Indiana Jones. Or something like that, uh, but yeah, uh, that that was my first impression when I went into this, and I went and I saw also the track listing. You have Tim McGraw, you have Dolly Parton, who's like a country music legend, uh, national treasure, national. Yeah, except the last album that she did with the rock thing. Huh? Oh, uh, I was going to bring that up. That would be perfect for this series. Mm. Yeah, I, we haven't. Uh, we I actually haven't covered that one. Maybe we'll cover that one at some point. Uh, I think JC did it on his channel. Uh, so yeah, yeah I saw review. so many people involved, and I'm like, and the first before I listened to it, I'm thinking maybe he's not great at country, so he needs other people. But actually, he he held his own with this con with these other country stars. Uh, so yeah, it's. Uh, I, let's say I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, uh, so 
yeah, that's those are first impressions. So let's go to round two, where we pick maybe the tracks that we think are the weakest. So JC, which tracks did you pick and why? I'll start with uh, Pour Me a Drink uh, with Blake Shelton. I It was just very, like, generic, I guess. I guess that, I mean, it didn't really, like, I don't know. I, I didn't really get anything, anything from it. I know, like, countries, like, a lot of it's the same thing. It's about drinking. It's about, like, driving down highways and things like that. But it's what I, I don't know. I, I just didn't really, like, do anything for me. Um. The next one I'm going to pick is the one with uh, Dolly Parton. And, you know, I I like Dolly Parton. I like her old stuff. I grew up listening to her. You know, she has some some of her older songs I like. And, you know, I, I've, I've listened to her when, when I was, like, younger. But I think uh, this one, I, I didn't like it. I, th I thought, the, I don't know, I thought, I think they're using some order to it in her voice. That's kind of what I got from it. But I, I think, like, like her, her voice doesn't really uh, uh, sound sound great, or not how it used to. I guess that's why I'm gonna pick that one. And uh, the other one, it's with Mexico with Billy Strings. It, it's just kind of like uh, the the lyrics were kind of dumb because he's uh, he's talking about being in uh, El Paso, Texas, and something like his his. Uh, mother was a stripper or something like that and it just kind of like the lyrics were dumb i think and they, so they have the line uh, the cocaine. <laughs> yeah he has a suitcase full of cocaine and then something like that and then he's like looking over the border and looking for, for the coconut trees it, it's just kind of the, the lyrics were kind of dumb and i think that that, that stood out for me but uh and that's it. Um, Plus, you live in those Mexico. Be my, my three, those will be my three. I know I'm kind of sounding negative so far, but there, later when we get to the next round, there, there were some stuff I liked. So we'll, we'll move on. Yeah. Okay. Good choices. What about you, uh, Nick? Yeah, I agree with JC about uh, Pour Me a Drink. Like, it wouldn't be a country album without a song about drinking. Like, everything's about drinking and girls and trucks, and, you know, it's all the same kind of subject matter. So when that song came on, uh, it just so I'm like, oh, here we go. Uh, this this is a country album that we're listening to. Um, I had some help with Morgan Wallen. I've never actually listened to Morgan Wallen, even though I know he's a huge star in the world of country music. I know there's been a lot of controversy with him over over the last few years, but uh, they find the chorus like in the courses they were the, just yelling like help, help. It was very 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 cheesy. Um, I like I liked everything that Post Malone was doing on that song. Maybe just not what Morgan Wallen was doing. Um, <laughs> the one for me, really, the one that was most ridiculous on this album was called "Hide My Gun," uh, which was uh, had a really cool guitar intro on it. I thought the the, could, the album could have used some more country you guitar riffs in there. Gun. But then you, you think you're you're listening. Oh, this is a nice love song of you know that you would send to somebody you love, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're making them an accessory to murder. Like, do you know? Do they know? You know that that they're you're, they're being involved in your murder plans. Like you're asking, hide hide my gun. That was just very very disturbing, and uh, I thought it was a nice love song until they started asking them to hide hide their weapons. So, uh, and then the other one was uh, Go goes without saying with Brad Paisley. Um, the thing about it is, it must be so hard to write a country song nowadays because there's so many country artists out there. Um, so many of them writing great country songs. They all live in Nashville. They're all great songwriters. Like, how do you make a, a country song stand out in this this climate where there's so many artists making country songs? Like, I don't know how you write a, an original country song without sounding like another country song. And so I felt like that was maybe a, a, a criticism we had, maybe the, the entire thing that sometimes it gets a little bit generic, but those were the weakest ones for me. Okay, good ones. Uh, what about you, Rockefeller? Yes, you said you only have one pick. Yeah, um, and I'm gonna have to agree with JC. It's "Have the Heart" featuring Dolly Parton. Um, I, I think I said everything I had written down about that song. Uh, let, let me take another look at the track list. Um, I think "Devil I've Been" and "Never Love You Again." We're not bad, but they just kind of went in one ear and out the other. Um, so if I had to pick two more songs, it would probably be those two. 
Yeah, kind of like forgettable songs, if you if you say. Yeah, I, I mean, again, they were perfectly fine songs, but I just. The, so the thing about this album is like it went by surprisingly quickly, but at the same time, as we sort of like touched on, a lot of the songs kind of bleed into each other. Yeah, I I could, I could hear that so. Yeah, so I guess that leaves uh, my free picks. So, uh, so yeah, I I actually have I think I have a few different picks uh, from you guys. Uh, so I gotta let me I I, I wrote them down. I think. <laughs> See, I, I I'm I'm all country now. I'm forgetting things because of the drinking <laughs> and things. But no more. No one has mentioned this one. Uh, Finer things featuring Hank Williams Jr. Mm. I just I, I don't know when I listened to that like the when I was listening to a track to me that sounded like the soundtrack of like uh you uh like someone in their band with their first cousin making out and then realizing we're related <laughs> 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 and this is the music that's playing I like the finer things I, I don't know it just I I it got it reminded me of the country jam Jamboree Bear from Disney. <laughs> oh, I have not thought about those things in decades. Yes, they used to sing songs like that. So I, when I was singing to that song, I was thinking of the bear singing. So uh, it, it was just kind of cheesy. Pour Me a Drink featuring Blake Shelton. Uh, I just think it's so generic. It's it, it's almost sounded like a Kid Rock song. <laughs> a little oh, bit. Uh, it that like is the worst song. insult you could give something, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it sounded like a kid rock song and Blake Shelton. Uh I, I know I, I the only thing I know about Blake Shelton is that he's married to Gwen Stefani. Uh yeah, and he's on a show. But yeah, uh I just think he's it's very voice, generic. Yeah. yeah, it's very generic. It's like uh I don't know, it, it I didn't think it did anything worthwhile. And I agree with Have the Heart by Dolly Parton because her vocals sounded weird, like like I like it, it, it sounded kind of weird and not to say you know, obviously she's a legend but I just thought like uh, plus the song is kind of cheesy she's like I haven't had the heart to tell you goodbye or something like that. So, also, yeah. uh, something I forgot to bring up: doesn't the song kind of depend on them having some kind of sexual chemistry? And Dolly Parton's in her seventies now. Hey, uh, like Hoover. Grand, I, I mean, hey, is- hey. Post Malone can be what he's into, but like, I, I, I just, it just wasn't clicking. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I think of the age. Yeah. I know what you mean. I just thought that her vocals sounded, sounded weird. So yeah, those are the three tracks that I pick. Uh, so yeah, we've all picked tracks. Now we're going to the third and final round. We're going to give it our final thoughts on the album and our rating and thumbs up. Side we are down. So JC, your final thoughts and rating. All right. So yeah, there were a few things I kind of liked about it. I, I noticed that like all the song lengths are like almost the same. They're all like, like about like three minutes long. So I'm still listening to country. Like I'm not used to listening to metal where or like rock where some songs are like 10 minutes and like <laughs> some songs are like two. But I, I don't know. That's just one thing I noticed. They're all like three minutes long. Uh, I think there were a couple songs I liked. I liked the first two songs. I thought they were pretty good with uh, Wrong Ones, Tim McGraw. And actually, I liked Finer Things with Hank Williams Jr. I thought those were some pretty good songs. And uh, there were a couple of, like, uh, California Sober with Chris Stapleton. Like, I've listened to Chris Stapleton before. He's, like, really good. He's one of the maybe few country uh, uh, artists that I, I like. I think he's a really good and the other ones were not bad uh one with laney wilson no style then you know that was, that was okay so i think there's like a few songs it's the kind of album like i'm not gonna like go back to it but if a couple songs appear on like a playlist that i'm listening to i'm like i'm not gonna skip them or remove them not like the the, the Corey feldman songs that are, have been appearing on my playlists uh this week and but I, I I mean I, I it's I think it's not that like there's a couple of songs that are okay so I, I'm gonna give it a sideways for me some sideways yeah. Some sideways for 
our first vote, I reckon. So <laughs> I'm trying to do my best country talk. So what about what about you, Nick? Uh, first of all, are there cowboys in Canada? Of course, yeah. You go out to Alberta. There's lots, uh, lots of cowboys yeah. out there. I, yeah, I didn't know. Sure. Now I know. <laughs> Alberta is basically people. Canada's Texas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I, I enjoyed this album. I didn't think it was a bad album. I think it was a little bit generic, like we all said. And it, I think with 15 songs, it all blends together. I'm just, I'm thankful that Hector didn't make us listen to the the whole deluxe edition, 27 no, no, I songs. That- I had to clarify one. that because I'm like, you know, because I know we, we are all music fans and we all want to dedicate ourselves to listening to music. So I didn't want to che- I didn't want to cheap out on it if uh, if you wanted us to listen to the whole thing. So but uh, I I did like it. And I think the thing about it, though, is every every song follows um, a, the same formula. Every song has an intro. Then it starts with Post Malone singing the first verse, doing the first chorus. And then the guest spot comes in, the guest star comes in, and then they team up on the rest of the song and they sing they sing the majority of the song together. I, I think it would have been cool to maybe hear a little bit more Post Malone just on his own. Um, there are, I think, three or four tracks on here where it's just him without any guest spots. I think that would have been cool uh, because I think he's got a great voice for country. So I think it would have been just to hear him do a couple more songs that were just him without all the guest spots. But I understand why he had all these heavy hitters on there because that really gives the album a lot of legitimacy in the country world. So if he wants to break through, I think it's a, it's a good album to break through. I'm not usually into the new country stuff, uh, but I think there's at least, a handful of songs on here that I would listen to again. So that's a, uh, that's a plus for me. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Nice. We have a pump sideway and a thumbs up. What about you, Rock of All Ages? So I counted, I did listen to all 27 songs. Uh, You're a trooper. <laughs> thank you. Dedication. If you include the extended edition tracks, there are a total of 12 songs without any features. Those 12 songs could have been their own album where it's just post and it probably would have been good. Uh, but as is, um, I did like more about this album than I didn't like. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Nice. So two thumbs up. That's a thumbs side Wait. So that leaves me, the Puerto Rican who has never listened to country music. So <laughs> never being a fan. So, but you know what's funny? Uh, JC and Nick mentioned my two favorite songs on this record, which is Mexico, which I thought was hilarious. I just, I just like the part like, it's M-I-C, Mexico for me. I just, I just thought it was hilarious. I'm like, this is such a hilarious track. And I love the story that he, he, like she leaves him with the cocaine. I just thought this is great. Uh, and hide my gun, I'm sorry. That song has been implanted in my brain. Uh, I, I even sang it to my girlfriend. I'm like, uh, I was like, <laughs> I'm like, would you have my gun if I kill for you? <laughs> and, it, and it's funny. You imagine, like, if uh, let's hope not, but you imagine if Post Malone gets uh, so happens something with a gun, and he's like, I've never say, uh, like, uh, said I owned a gun, and the judge will be like. Uh, your, uh, your, like the, your honor, we we have exhibit A, hide your gun from the F1 trillion album. You <laughs> mentioned him doing the Nirvana cover, and I swear that I don't have a gun. Yeah, he did come as you are. So I don't know, I just thought that song, it's it's one of those songs that is, the lyrics are, because it makes it sound, oh, it sounds like a, like a beautiful like ballad, but it's like... <laughs> Uh, I thought of another song that I've heard once, once, but it was like a, this R&B chick, and it's a, that one. That song is terrible, it, and I don't know if you guys heard it, but it's a, it's a song about like she, uh, this chick, her boyfriend goes out, and when he oh, comes back home, your... <laughs> and she says, "Can I smell your?" That's um, what this song reminded me of. I didn't want to mention it, but that is exactly <laughs> the song that it reminded me of. It's hilarious. He, he cannot smell your, but it was. It, it even had like almost the same kind of like a uh, way that he sung. So I'm like, this reminds me of a song that I heard before, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> and it was that one. But I I don't know. I just thought it's it's hilarious. He's like, you know, I would kill for you. So would you have my gun? It would have been. 
awesome if he would have added like a female singer saying like fuck no go to jail <laughs> you have i mean he jail. already got laney wilson for this album <laughs> Yeah, so I I, I I like and I like uh, some uh, I think there's some ballads here like that are that are good and I think Post Malone has the the voice. So I'm actually I, I if you asked me a week ago that I would give this album a thumbs up, I would have said you're crazy. But <laughs> there's more good stuff here than bad. Yes, there's there's some generic stuff, but even the generic stuff and the bad ones is still kind of entertaining. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, now I may go and eat at a Cracker Barrel. Uh, who knows? I, 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 Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> and, uh, I've gone full country. So, uh, so yeah. So, I, Coucher, there you have it. We actually, this album has been saved. Uh, three thumbs up and a thumb sideways. That means that we, uh, four people that are not huge country fans thought that this wasn't that bad. So, yeah, this album is saved. I, I do actually like a lot. I'm not like a huge country fan, but I've listened to a lot of country music. Like my mom's a big fan of like Keith Urban and uh, Marin Morris and people like that. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, but my question is, will Post Malone, will, st- will this be like a one-off or will he keep on country or will he go back to his old style? Because I think he may be like a like a musical chameleon. I would like I said, I would like to see him do a grunge or rock record. I think he has the talent to do it. Like, why not? Like, I would totally listen to a rock album by him. So yeah. So turns out uh, I like Post Malone now. So uh, we I wanna you know I wanna thank my guest uh, J C Rock and Metal Reviews. Uh, He's not going to be singing that Mexico song <laughs> over there. And so if you want uh, history lessons and uh, like rankings and things, uh, you can uh, subscribe to his channel. And, uh, you know, like uh, he also does some album metal reviews rock. So subscribe to his channel. Uh, Nick Sino, uh, if you like uh, to talk about like rock music, uh, he does album reviews as well and uh, next week I'm going to be on his channel because we're going to be talking about uh, actually when we post this we've already talked about this but okay go see that video we're going to be talking about Oasis definitely maybe 30th anniversary over at Nick Chino's channel uh, because he's the long lost Gallagher brother so <laughs> subscribe to him and finally Rock of All Ages if you like a channel that's more like a podcast and he gives you songs that were popular in years uh like subscribe to his channel as well Uh, i also have done some videos there and finally if uh if you like my channel uh you know i i do i'm doing a lot of uh album reviews uh interviews and of course is it that bad uh i don't know what's coming up next for is it that bad but there's a few uh, new albums coming out this year that we may cover. So uh, so keep an eye out for that. So until next time, partners, <laughs> cowboys and cowgirls, <laughs> this is Hector, <laughs> the shield dude on a ranch, and I'll see you next time right here, but on a couch. Thank you and good night.